Warning, this video will contain spoilers up to chapter 1047. You've been warned. Hello, my name is this is Joy Girl. And what would be a satisfying ending to the Luffy vs. Kaido fight for you? So I dare say that we are inching closer and closer to the end of the battle and really the end of the arc now. And with all of the developments that we've been seeing, especially in terms of the power-ups and all the different types of attacks that we've seen throughout this extremely long fight, it's a really interesting question to be thinking about. And actually, it's a question that's become more relevant, particularly after the events of chapter 1047, or more specifically, the ending of chapter 1047. Because we see Luffy use a combination of his powers or his abilities to blow up his fist to gigantic proportions whilst also coating it with Haki. And this sparks a very intriguing debate as to whether this will be enough to defeat the Yonko. But before we get into the discussion, rumor has it that clicking the subscribe button for this channel may just help Luffy also defeat the Yonko. And so may I suggest that you try it. And even if that doesn't work, what that means is that you will be provided with some regular One Piece discussions, so please do consider clicking that red button. And now going back to the question of whether this last punch from Luffy will be enough to defeat Kaido. And that's a very fair question. Kaido, since his introduction, has been a super strong OP character. We were told of the insane ordeals that he's not only endured but subjected himself to, and Odin was the only person to have been able to have left the scar on Kaido by cutting him for literally decades before Zoro came along. I mean, even the full force of the scabbards wasn't enough to reopen Kaido's old wound. In fact, if we go back and really think about it, it really is super impressive how long Kaido has lasted in this war. He's phased and defeated so many different groups in this one night. And we're not just talking fodders either. I mean, we've seen him go up against the scabbards, we've had the supernovas, we've had Yamato and Luffy multiple times. And then on top of all of this, Kaido has been exerting energy, I mean enough energy to lift up an entire island with his flame clouds to transport it to Overwatch. I mean, we're talking a whole damn island. And I don't think that the extent to which Kaido has really and truly lived up to his epithet as the world's strongest creature is clear until we sit down like this and really go through and consider everything that Kaido has been able to take as well as dish out so far. So then this question of what or even whether this punch that we saw from Luffy in chapter 1047 will be able to do any real damage to defeat Kaido really goes both ways. On one hand, there's the argument that none of Luffy's attacks, or really anyone's attacks for that matter, seem to have dealt enough real or lasting damage to seriously impede the Yonko. So the argument is, is that this one, regardless of how large the punch is, shouldn't be expected to, to really be enough either. On the other hand, it's been hinted for some time now that Kaido 2 is now tiring and his strength is reaching its limits. Hence the greater struggle for Momonosuke with lifting up Onigashima using Kaido's increasingly weakening flame clouds. Uh, that's an oxymoron. But anyways, so in that light, you could also argue that given the state that Kaido is in now and everything that he's gone through, this gigantic punch may just be enough to do some real damage. I mean, to be fair, Luffy's fist was the same size as the island. And this moment has sparked quite the lively, spirited discussion where I've seen some strong opinions on both sides. Something that I was actually quite surprised about was that this discussion has actually further extended and even polarized to the extent that we have in one camp some arguing that not only will Luffy's punch fail to do anything, that Luffy will actually lose again, or even that the raid will fail. And on the other side, some insisting that this punch will be the finishing blow, or at least the beginning of an end. And this has actually been somewhat divisive, so I would really be interested in hearing your thoughts, so let me know by leaving a comment below. But anyways, 
Something that has re-emerged from the archives in response and in relation to this debate is a comment that Oda made back in 2016. Oda said back then that when he first introduced Kaido, he knew Luffy wasn't ready to beat him yet. Even at the time that Oda was making his comment, he still didn't know how Luffy was going to beat Kaido and that it was something that he and Luffy would just have to work out together because he knew his audience wouldn't be satisfied if Luffy wins by just simply punching Kaido. And so this has been recently dug up and cited as a reason as to why what we are currently witnessing cannot be the final moments of this fight. But I suppose some of the possible counter arguments to this which are worth noting is that this last punch or this pre-punch that we are witnessing in chapter 1047 surely this cannot be described to be any simple punch I mean, at the time of Oda's comment, we didn't know of the ability to coat your attacks with Conqueror's Haki, Luffy hadn't awakened his Devil Fruit at that stage, and in fact the true nature of Luffy's Devil Fruit had not even been revealed. So it's fair to say that this punch that we're seeing now isn't just any old Gomu Gomu no pistol that we've seen before. So then, if Luffy does in fact win by this method, would the fact that Luffy's punch has been augmented by lots of other factors be sufficient to differentiate it from the unsatisfying punch that Oda originally mentioned. And if it isn't, and this punch really isn't enough, what would you imagine to be a satisfying way for Luffy to achieve victory? Personally, I can't say that I think that this will be the end of Luffy versus Kaido either, but my reasoning has more to do with the fact that there is still so much left unresolved in terms of Kaido's backstory and his ideology, as opposed to being unsatisfied with the physical method through which Luffy will achieve his victory. And to be honest, I've always found this aspect to be more interesting. As fans who have been following the series, we should be well accustomed to the fact that One Piece is is far more deep and far more meaningful than just its action sequences. I mean, for me, it has always been the story, the themes, and the ideologies which make even the fights between characters so interesting. And this is something that seems to be acknowledged by Oda as well. As early as the fourth SBS volume, when he was asked why Luffy doesn't kill his opponents, Oda answered that in an era where everyone stakes their lives to fulfill their dreams, failure to achieve your dreams is as painful as death. And so you could also interpret this to mean that One Piece is a world where failing to achieve your dreams and failing to realize your ideologies is a fate even worse than death. So then, when you apply this to the fight against Kaido, while we have certainly received hints here and there, it's clear that we still don't have the full picture when it comes to ascertaining Kaido's motivations, his values, and his ideology. And so then, until we do find out, and until Luffy finds out what Kaido's reasonings and his ideologies are, and until Luffy can say, well, that's stupid, I don't agree with that. I personally can't see this fight ending. Which is why for a while, what I've been anticipating from the ending of Luffy and Kaido's fight is that it will ultimately come down to a battle of ideals. And in particular, perhaps a moment where Kaido will finally recognize Luffy as Joy Boy. I mean, I've thought and discussed in the past that this could result in a moment of Kaido almost giving in or giving up and losing because he knows that he would no longer need to fight knowing that the joy boy that he seems to have been waiting for has arrived. But obviously this is something that we would need to see more of in terms of his backstory in order to make a fully fleshed out speculation. And although I still think that this could be more satisfying in a way that is more metaphorical and ideals based, there obviously still has to be some sort of physical component involved. Something that will also result in Kaido recognizing the sheer physical strength and capability of Luffy to be Joy Boy. In which case I have to ask, why not a punch? I mean, sure, it will most likely be a very special punch, a punch that is boosted by other layers such as Conqueror's Haki, some ridiculous use of his Devil Fruit, or maybe even multiple punches. But at the end of the day, Luffy's attacks have always been punch-based. Some of the most iconic, 
and satisfying moments in One Piece have been the way through which Luffy has punched his opponents. You know, whether that be a single clean punch or a barrage of punches or a very fancy punch. I mean, Luffy has more than proved his ability or capability to win even against the greatest of odds with his punches. And this style of fighting really fits his character so well as a straight up, no nonsense kind of guy. So I suppose the question is, again, what do you think would be a satisfying ending to this fight between Luffy and Kaido? And those are my thoughts on this whole debate and this discussion, but I would really be interested in hearing your thoughts. So please let me know by leaving a comment below. Don't forget to like and share the video. Please do subscribe if you'd like to hear more One Piece discussions. You can also join our Joy Fleet Discord server or even become a Patreon member. And I want to thank all our patrons for help supporting the channel. This is Joy Girl and I'll see you again soon.